So now from Good Life Promotions, we're taking you around in all the showcasing of the events. Now we are in Ethiopia Alien. And guess everybody know much about Ethiopian Alien, I guess. So they are one of the best African alien that come to, that came to Nigeria as a part of our aviation sector here in this country. Now we have the delegates that are covering the Ethiopian alien and which they are here. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, gentlemen of the press. How are you? My name is Moses. I represent the Ethiopian Airlines. Um, as you can see, that we have just backed an award as the best African airline of the year in this particular exhibition, and we are proud of that. But the main issue is that, as you know, that Ethiopian Airlines is always associated with customer service, and that is why we are in existence. First of all, you know that in Africa, a lot of airlines are not stabilized, but Ethiopian airlines have, have this as a sacrifice to make sure that Africans and Africa is linked to the rest of the world. And the rest of the world is also linked to Africa. And with this, you know that business is on and on in all the continents because of Ethiopian airlines. Thank you very much. How do you think Ethiopian alien is of customer service to people boarding the airline? Thank you very much. If you have boarded our flight, you notice that even the crews are the, uh, inside the flight, the way they handle our customers. Look, it is our customers that pays our salary. Imagine somebody that fits you. You cannot bite a finger that fits you. So that's the way we are, lo we are looking at our customers. They are the people feeding us. They are the people buying our aircraft. They are the people buying, I mean, paying our salary. So we treat them. They are our kings and queens. So we don't play with them. Customer service case is number one, ranging from passenger services and cargo. You know, in Ethiopian Airlines, it's not only carrying passengers, but we do full aviation services. What am I saying? We go into passenger services, cargo, catering, name them in aviation industry. So that's what we do. Thank you very much. So what is the benefit of hospitality? Because should when anybody wants to board your, your, your flight, they'll ask you, how about your hospitality? How do you think it's open alien reach to the hospitality of passengers? Thank you very much. First of all, I like to let you know that we have a program called Sheba Miles. For example, you, if you fly our airline today, we register you. The benefit is this. At the point in time, you get a free ticket. You don't bother if, whether you are going to America, Asia, or whatever, wherever you are going to. There will be a point in time that you will be entitled to a free ticket. That is one benefit. Number two, Ethiopian airlines, like I said, link Africans together. Where do you want to go to? You want to go to South Africa? You want to go to Zimbabwe? Where do you want to go to to watch? Is it Kenya? To experience the wildlife in other you know, that is why we have, you know, flown to those destinations so that Africans can actually go. And our fares are very, very cheap, you know. So that is why we are in 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 the markets. We have those benefits. There are a lot of them. I can tell you, people are testifying. Thank you very much. So one more question, sir. Um, you know, constituency. Should when there is no constituency. Constituency. How do you think being constant in your services can render um, a pace of durability to passengers? Thank you very much. When you talk about consistency, gentlemen of the press, I can tell you that it's not easy for somebody to have been in business from 1946 till date, more than 60 years. If there is no consistency, there, there can't be such thing. Understand? So there is, look, in Ethiopian Airlines, every person from the sales office to the airport, every person, they, they are involved. There is a division of labor. People are committed. I tell you that is why they exist, the airline can do like this. There is a lot of consistency. You understand? All of us, ranging from the lower staff to the chief executive, the president of the organization believes in customer service. Understand? Yeah. So it's not just, you know, flying people. We are consistent. 
and we are ever ready to, to satisfy our customers. That customer satisfaction is one consistency that we have been keeping from the beginning and we intend to improve more and more. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. Thank you very much.